everyone and welcome to two egg farms it's katrina the cat in the hat farmer gardener and i wanted to take some time today and show you what my tomatoes look like i have tomatoes in two different areas um, these are all my tomatoes that are on my patio and about half are determinate half are indeterminate um, and to be honest with you I have pulled a lot of the tags off, so I don't know which is which, um, but I will be able to deter determine by the time they all get ripe because of the size that they'll be. So I know I have some better boys, and I think those are going to be a little bit bigger than the other ones I have. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am over the moon um, with my tomatoes this year. I've always, 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 always had a hard time growing tomatoes. And this year, um, you know, it may seem like a small accomplishment, a small feat to a lot of people, but my tomatoes are what I call loaded compared to past years. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six tomato plants here on my cement patio. And as you can see, I try to keep them the lower um, branches clipped or limbs clipped that one looks like it's getting and see this needs to come off i'll clip that but that one let me load the i can get in there that one's getting ripe and then we have some more blooming and you know they're they're coming on um i have some other things growing on my patio but um i'll talk about those a little bit later but let me take you out to where the majority of my tomatoes are. Okay guys, this is where the majority of my tomatoes are and they are, I am doing everything in raised beds. Um, that's what my garden has evolved to. I really love my garden space. I'm gonna show you guys a full video of what my raised bed looks like. Um, but my tomatoes are, they're the only thing that's in a, a water trough. I grew pretty much everything in water troughs last year, but this year, the only thing that is left in my water trough are my tomatoes. And let me tell you, I have so many tomatoes on, it's, <laughs> it's a little scary because I've never had this many tomatoes. And they are, knock on wood, so beautiful. Um, I have seen some worms which I have um, treated and I'll show you what I treat my worms with but I have them all staked I have the center um, the pretty much the main stem staked and then I have supports I use these clips and then I have other supports that I put in there and then some of them are tied with strings um, to do my best to keep them from falling down but I'm, they are just so plentiful and so beautiful and i really can't wait till they get ready um, i'm going to show you a couple products that i've used one that i use to help them grow so first of all um what is in here what is in this soil is um gardening gardening soil and then also horse manure and that's pretty much it I, it's a lot of horse manure in here and that's we have um two horses and we we put composted horse manure in here and that is pretty much what they're feeding off and then whenever i planted them i use this product which i just found this year it's called mater magic and it's um supposed to be organic and it says it um you can grow bigger juicier tomatoes and vegetables I'm just happy to have any tomatoes because after the years I've had trying to grow tomatoes, this is, you know, such a huge, huge accomplishment for me. So you can see um, what the NPK is on it. It has 8% nitrogen, phosphate 5%, uh, calcium 4%, soluble potash um, 5%. Um, so you can see everything that's in there and this has, I mean, it, it's been great. Um, so you can use it not only on tomatoes, uh, you can use it on, it says juicier tomatoes and vegetables. So you can use it on your cucumbers and your peppers. Um, I haven't used it on anything but my tomatoes so far this year, but I am going to use it on my peppers as well. I have another, um, bottle here 
um, that I'm gonna use and put on my peppers um, and then this is what I've used to keep the worms off dipel dust I think is, is how you say it um, but this is exactly what I use to um, control the worms that I have and I think they're called army worms but um, I sprinkle this on and really it's been quite rainy here the last couple of um, days or even week um, and it's about just raining on me now it's sprinkling so um, it, it's kind of hard to dust and you have to go back and it rains and you know you dust again to kind of control the pests but yeah I just wanted to bring you guys out and show you how proud I am of my tomatoes and how beautiful they are they're staying green I try to keep them pruned um, and I, I really don't have a secret to tell you guys uh, this year. It's just like, I, you know, they're crowded in here. And I know a lot of people say, you know, don't crowd them and they need airflow. And I try to keep, you know, the bottoms all pruned so they can have good airflow through here. But, I mean, the truth of the matter is they're crowded in this. I think I have maybe, mm, I don't know, maybe nine, ten tomato plants in here. So, and I'm sure they probably could be bigger than what they are if they wasn't so crowded. But I'm just happy with what I had this year. Um, it's probably more tomatoes than I'll ever eat, but I know I'll give them away to people in my community. Um, but I just wanted to bring you guys in and show you what my tomatoes look like, and I'll give you a full garden tour coming up. Thanks so much for watching our videos here at Two Egg Farms. Please hit the subscribe button um, and like our videos if you have any questions or comments. Drop them down below, and we'll do our best to answer um, any questions you have and respond to any comments you have um, just remember to live the life you love